All right, fellas, today we're gonna do some bridge fishing. Uh, I'm gonna fish a bridge I've had success at at night in the summer, uh, particularly with speckled trout and look downs or moonfish. Uh, I'm actually just doing a little bit of homework. Uh, I wanna learn a couple spots that might have pompano. I'm prepared to learn a couple things. I'm gonna learn how to fish these goofy jigs, um, which are a popular pompano lure, and uh, we'll take it from there. If we catch something on those, great. As backup to round out the video and catch a couple fish, we'll we'll drop some crabs on this bridge here too to see what's up. So zipping down the intracoastal right now on a beautiful morning. As soon as we get down to the spot, which will be about five minutes, uh, we'll start throwing some jigs and stuff. West winds like 10 to 15, so not too bad. All right, we're just gonna troll this little bass sass I'm through here, through these docks. I don't think we'll get anything on it, but you don't know until you try, right? So, ooh. Coming through that rip there, might be something decent. All right, that's a speckled trout. Ooh, 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 ooh. Get in there. Uh, not a big one per se, but one for breadcrumbs. You're allowed to keep four of these a day at 14 inches. That's a 15 incher. Well, why not? I'm certainly keeping a couple of fish today, so might as well. Old bridge, old bridge fishing, man. Bridge fishing is what I kind of what I sunk my teeth on for the most part. Bridges are pretty diverse, so doesn't mean they're easy, though. All right, we're gonna try a little uh, something different here. I tried for pompano. Used a lot of small jigs. All I caught was um. So you know what? Let me use a smaller hook here. I don't think the sheep that we're gonna see in this neighborhood are gonna be very large. I tried for pompano for a little bit. I used uh, pompano jigs, I used small metal jigs. All I got was small black sea bass and lizard fish. So uh, let's avoid the skunk here. I think I'm jumping the gun, trying, trying to replicate, you know, minor success I've seen. That's what we're currently doing is chasing a pipe dream. So I got a bunch of mud crabs on the shoreline just now. Some smaller ones, some big ones. And just fish this guy on a hook. Uh, real light leader too. Maybe it's a 15 pound. I'm playing with fire, but we're not going to see any big sheep out here, most likely. Toadfish. Oh, that's not toad. Sheep's head. There we go. First one. Took me a minute. I think we dialed in on a couple now. Not too bad. Backwater sheep, that's not a bad one at all. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right. Took me a couple minutes, but there we go. First sheep set. Uh, like 17, 18 inches. It's not too bad. Can keep a couple of those for the grocery bin. See, this is what they're feeding on. You see those sea urchins? That sea urchin down there? I filleted a lot of sheep's head inshore here, and that's usually what I find in their stomach. Okay. My second one. Whoa. On a little smaller, more average inshore sheep's head. Getting the groceries now. Just fishing bridges, man. Kind of cool. You yeah, know, we're not going to see a double digit fish in this environment, but we'll get fish for dinner. Never hurts to crack the shell, man. If you can't get that bite you want, tice them by cracking the shell, that's all. You pull me in there. I don't know what that is. That's a decent sized fish, whatever that is. Gonna have to go for a little ride here, fellas. Oh, 
It's gotta be a drum, right? What else do you think that could be? Got him out. Aha. Uh -huh. Black drum action. Inshore grocery shopping. All right, I got enough meat, meat actually. Two sheeps and a speck is honestly enough. Maybe I'll keep something else, but I'm gonna put the black drum back. Thanks for coming out to play. Fun fish. He whooped me. He tried. He thought he was gonna really get me in that structure, man. Some, some finesse fishing. It's fun. Really fun. They eat fine, but you know, they tend to get to some pretty impressive sizes. So, okay. What's that? Oh, fun stuff, man. That's a decent one too, huh? Alright, that's another black drum. Common bridge critter here. Fun fish to catch under these bridges with light tackle. This is some finesse, finesse stuff, man. Oh, <laughs> this is fun. I think I brought in a little patch of these black drum. What's this one? Another black drum or sheep? Oh, that's another sheep. I'm gonna keep the sheeps. <laughs> That's fun stuff, man. I'll tell you what, it took me a minute. You had to really just like kind of chum these guys in. I think that's more than anything what was important. Just dropping those crab parts down there, get these fellas going. Seven feet of water, man. This is like pretty interesting fishing, man. All right, here we go again. Wait for that rod to load up a little bit. That's the way to do it. I think I got enough meat now. Start putting these guys back. These are your kind of average sheep's head now. Fun. Still fun. I'm gonna try something here, man. I heard barnacles work well for these things, so just try, trying this. Free bait, just grabbing it off the bridge, basically. All right, so I just tried barnacles here. I've heard barnacles work well for sheep's head. I couldn't get a tap on those. Oh, yeah. I almost wonder if that's the same fish I caught a minute ago. What do you guys think? It's got a similar color pattern, so I'm thinking it might be the same exact fish from like two minutes ago. It's getting all fat on the stuff I'm chumming down there. <laughs> Peace out. So I tried those uh, barnacles. They really didn't work. They didn't work well for me just now. I mean, these things are working way better. Drum are definitely uh, out in force right here on this little bridge. Nothing of size, but enough to keep busy, huh? So we ended up with about an even split of black drum to sheep's head. All right? That's kind of cool. These fish are awesome. That's a small little bridge. It's loaded with those, those little guys. We're eater size. Uh, I think almost every bridge I've ever fished did something like that. You know, every region might have different different flavor. Uh, some regions might have porgies, others might have a couple different species of ma like mangrove snappers. Here, sheep and black drum. So uh, yeah, still not too bad. I'm gonna work some marsh banks, see what I can find. Um, I used half ounce bottom speakers. Uh, those bites were light though at times. Uh, it's fun though on the light tackle to do that. 
use 10 pound braid and 15 pound leader. So I almost got owned there. So I'm just gonna keep throwing this goofy jig all over North Carolina until I find some Pompano inshore. That's my new policy. Fish with a goofy jig until I find these things. Like that policy? I do. Well, we're around the goofy jig. Oh, oh, oh. really? That's not a, that's not very common to catch this mid bright sun, midday like that. And then pick up some goofy jigs, fellas. Cause I'll catch you a nice speckled trout. That ain't bad at all <laughs> for midday. All right, well, we gained a little confidence in it. This is the first time I really fished this lure hard. That's uh, not a bad trout, man. All right, that's officially the largest fish I've caught on the Goofy Jig, or Wobbler Jig, it's a Pompano Jig. Uh, that speckled trout, 19 inches. It's not too bad for uh, dead of boat, tra boat traffic, and, you know, bright sun, <laughs> high pressure. Speckled trout are not into these conditions that I'm in right now, so uh, take that as a, as a thing of interest. <sighs> speckled trout. Well, I didn't really do what I intended on trying to do today. Uh, I'm still a little early at that 68 degree water. Uh, caught a bunch of fish, filled the cooler. Uh, I mean, we could have filled the cooler, but we, we kept enough for, uh, for a couple of sandwiches, right? Um, used bottom sweeper jigs, tried a lot of different things, a lot of small metals, a lot of goofy jigs, small bucktails. Uh, really tried to find some bombino or you know, some, something a little different. Um, no dice. Headed in now. I've got ocean weather tomorrow, so I'm gonna rest up and chill out. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I hope you enjoy. Be safe. Better fishing soon. More fishing soon. Things are on the up and up, so I'm ready. I'm excited about that.